Hi, my name's Ruan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire So Girl. I am back um, today. Um, I have makeup on and I've washed my hair and straightened it for the first time in quite some time. Uh, life update, we all got Covid, basically. All of us, all of my family, all of my extended family, everybody except for my mother. She escaped it, but that's because we think she might have had it donkeys ago before anybody even knew what Covid was. Um, so yeah, it started off with my stepdad and my eldest boy. So we decided we were going to try and isolate as much as possible. My husband owns his own business, so we um, made the decision for him to work from home and I've got great bosses and I can work from home. So we decided we were going to work from home and just do what we could. And then about five or six days later, my husband got it and my youngest got it. <clears throat> so then we're isolating for a little bit longer. And then about six or so days after that, I got it <laughs> right at the end. So I feel like I've been in this house for a long time. But it's Freedom Day tomorrow. That's all you need to know. Um, people have been poorly with it. Touch wood, luckily, my husband and my children have been fine. I've been poorly, but nothing too bad that I can't live with. Um, unfortunately, my granddad, who turned 93 last week, got it and ended up in hospital. But he's back home now and he's doing really well. He's a right fighter. He's um, my granddad. Um, he, yeah, he was 93 last week and he's more than capable. He's, you know, very independent. He does live with my mum and uh, my stepdad. Um, so he does have support, um, which is nice. And my uncle's flown over from America just in case because it was all, we didn't know what was happening in hospital alerts. It's been rubbish that's all i can say for about the last three or so weeks and i just can't wait to go outdoors even if it's just for a walk um yeah i'm i'm just dead excited about escaping the house very different to the first lockdown when we were all in the same situation um yeah i wouldn't wish covid on anybody that's all i'll say it wiped me out for a good week and i'm still feeling the repercussions of it now um but thank God I was double jabbed because I dread to think how poorly I really could have been if that was the case. Anyway, that was my life update. Um, yeah, I'm rabbiting on a bit harder. But I just thought I'd let you know that's why I've not been around for a while. Um, but what I have been able to do in that time is fabric shop. <laughs> Online, obviously. So I was trying to curb my fabric addiction by doing the so five then buy challenge that was being run on instagram and I, I managed to get to four i mean does that count probably not so i mean it's five or nothing isn't it but i'm wondering whether that challenge actually set me back in the fact that when i'd done that and decided i was going to purchase some fabric i went absolutely bonkers i'm not ashamed to admit it it just is what it is i haven't bought any fabric for it must be three months maybe four months other than the stuff that I've got, obviously, in my So Hayley Jane box. So I've been doing really well. But then um, the Rainbow Fabric Kilburn um, sale went on and I just had a big panic, basically, that people were going to get loads of fabric and I wasn't. Oh, I'm drinking out my mug. So this is actually a COVID mug. That sounds wrong. Lockdown mug, maybe. Um, just before Christmas of last year, um, when businesses are starting to open up we were trying to support local businesses and we've got a pottery paint your own pottery um small business in our local town so we hadn't been out and done anything for so long me my husband and the boys went over there and painted and decorated some stuff and then we went straight back into lockdown again and couldn't get hold of them for ages and this is the mug that i made i love this mug pretty little pink flowers obviously a bit of red um so anyway we collected them months later um and I'd forgotten that I'd written something on the bottom. So if I take a slurp, see if you can see what it says. You might not be able to see that. Might not be the right way around. I'm not sure. But I forgot that I'd written on the bottom of it. 2020 sucked. Um, until I was drinking out of it not so long ago. My husband was like, it certainly did. And I was like, what? Certainly did. He went, sucked. 2020. 
I was like, okay, it's as if we're carrying on a conversation that I don't know that I'm involved in here. What's on, what's going on? And he's like, at your mug, you dial them. And then obviously I had a look and remembered that I put that on there. Hmm. It's my favourite mug at the moment. <clears throat> Other than my most expensive mug in the world, obviously. That you all know about. Anyway, I'm waffling on. I'm five minutes in. I haven't done anything yet. I'm wearing the Billy... Talina Button's Billy sweatshirt dress today. I haven't worn it for ages because it's been too hot, but today it's very autumnal out there and it's windy and miserable and looks cold. So I'm all snuggly buggly. And this was a beautiful fleece back um, sweatshirt fabric from Andrea the Pink Dot, Beyond Pink Dot. So yeah, so basically what happened was the rainbow fabric Kilburn sale went live, I panic bought, okay? so. <laughs> Most of the time I'll buy something with an idea in mind, roughly, of what I might want to make with it. Not at all on this occasion. We were in Legoland at the time. We just arrived in the evening to the hotel and um, my reminder came up saying that it was on and I was like, oh my God, I can't talk to anybody. Husband, check in for us because I can't. I need, I need to do this. Anyway, and this is what I plumped for. I was really good. I had probably 10 fabrics in my basket, but I deleted a load of them. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, so these are what I've got and there'll be bits hanging off them all over the place guys because I am not an overlocker before I wash I know I know that it's best to do that and I have done it on a couple of the fabrics but god it was so boring oh I was like no this no this is not for me I had to do it on one of the fabrics because I thought it was going to fray loads um and I trialed it on another one because they were only small pieces. But it's just not for me, guys. It's just not for me. So there are little bits, you know, like, coming off, I need to cut them all off, don't I? Um, oh, I don't think I'm ever going to be an overlock a piece of fabric before putting in the wash kind of gal. Unless it's going to, like, really fray badly. Anyway, so the first fabric I got is a viscose. And this is it here. I love this fabric. Can you tell? I think this is so delicious and it's a really right so it's hard to explain it's not really heavy but it's got a lot of oomph to it it's got a bit of body to it if that makes sense so it's not a really really thin viscose it's got um it's got some weight to it which I love and particularly for obviously autumn winter I think this would be really nice so I got three meters of this um, again because I was panicking. I was like, just get it, just get it, it doesn't matter. Um, and I think what I might do with this is potentially make um, Tilling the Buttons Lyra dress with it. So I've made one of the versions, short sleeved, one tier out of like a cotton lawn fabric. But um, I'm quite thinking the longer tiered, long sleeved version in a flowy viscose with the belt round it might look really nice. So I think that's going to be my plan for this one. Um, I just love. The red on black i think it's beautiful and i think that'll be lovely you know for going out for a meal in the evening or something like that so that's number one i'm just gonna chuck them all down here and regret all this later on but anyway it was all so neat and tidy before i showed you the second one i got was another viscose um they're all viscose i think and it's this one here and it's delicious and i only got two meters of this because i'm gonna make a blouse i think out of this one but it's white and black so the monochrome but I mean, you can see, I mean, the quality, I have to say the quality of their fabric at uh, Rainbow um, Fabrics is unbelievable for the price, like ridiculous. And when you buy from them, you also get a postcard, um, which I've got up here somewhere, with a discount code on it as well. So not only were all of these in the sale, but I also got a 15% discount off them as well. So what? Now you had to spend over 60 quid for free delivery and I was tempted to do that, but I didn't, I was good. I only spent, I think, £42 and I got three, six, nine. Is that what I got? Three, lots of three and a two. Yeah, so a lot of fabric anyway, that's all you need to know. So yeah, two metres of this and I'm thinking a lovely blouse in this. Or if I can squeeze it out, I'm thinking about trying the... Um, Oh, it's all tilling the buttons today, isn't it? The, not the Lotta dress, what's the other one? Indigo, again, I made that donkeys ago. 
I think it was maybe about two years ago before I lost weight so I think I'd like to retry that again and I thought that would be quite nice I'm just a little bit unsure about you know no I don't think you would be able to see through it you know can you see me so I don't know so it's either going to be a blouse or which would be nice for work with a pair of black pants wouldn't it I don't know or um yeah um an indigo dress I think Unless you guys have got better ideas than me, I'm all ears. Please do comment below. Then I got three meters of this, and you will probably recognize this because I've already purchased this fabric from them previously. And I loved it that much, and it was in the sale, and I got 15% off that I couldn't not buy it. I mean, I don't even know how much it worked out at, but it was ridiculously good. And it's this leopard print. <sighs> I mean, you all know I love a leopard print, but this leopard print's just a little bit special, isn't it? I think. And if anybody can remember, I made the Nina Lee Bakerloo blouse out of this with the big collar. Look at that. I think I need a leopard print dress out of this, but I don't know which one yet. So again, people, help me decide. I've got three metres, so I've got plenty of fabric to be messing about with on this one. But the quality is unreal that's all I'm going to say it's gorgeous not flimsy it's got some weight behind it again perfect for autumn winter and then don't laugh but I actually bought another leopard print this one so you might not be able to see this and have ironed it so it's not quite as dramatic as it was I don't know if you'll be able to see that on here but this is a leopard print but it's slightly paler and it doesn't like gradient in and out from the darker color to the paler color but it's a crinkled viscose. So I really love the look of this. And again, I was thinking maybe a Lyra dress in this, because I think that would be gorgeous. That maybe with, instead of a self fabric belt, maybe a tan colored belt around the middle, some nice tan boots on. So I think that might become one as well. So I might make this one up first in the Lyra dress, see if I like the longer long sleeve version. Um, and if I do, then I'll maybe make it in the poppy fabric. So, next up is a fabric that I literally couldn't say no to. Um, and I think it cost me £13 for three metres or something like that with free delivery. And it's from a company called Fabrics by Shyla. And um, they did gift me some fabric a while ago. Um, to try their fabric store out. Um, they do have an Etsy store, but they also have an eBay store as well. So I will try and put the details down below, but they put something up on their stories the other day and I was literally like, oh my God. So I messaged them and said, it's not on your website. Where is it? What, I need it. And they said, oh, we're just about to put it up. It's going up on eBay. So I literally, as soon as it was there, I was like, I'm having it. <laughs> so this hasn't been washed yet. So I must separate this out because I always wash all my fabrics, but look, at that <laughs> how friggin amazing is that look at the colors in it so it's got a base of red but then it's got like yellow blue greens blacks pinky purples like a beige with all little dots all over it i absolutely love this but i have <laughs> literally no idea what i'm gonna make with it now, I'm all for the dresses at the minute. Now, you guys know I've never been a dress person, but I've been experimenting loads recently. And I love the idea of just putting a dress on and feeling made up because it's just easier. Um, and nothing to mis mismatch it with other items, you know, when there's like top and bottom and all that lot. But please come up with something awesome for me to make with this because I'm stumped and I don't want to let this sit in my stash for ages because again, I think this would still be really nice for autumn winter with some black tights and big chunky boots. But I think then also you could get away with it in the summer, I think, with little sandals, bare legs, not my white legs. I'd have to put some tan on them, obviously. You've all seen how outrageous my legs are when they're all so white. But yeah, this was a viscose, this is a viscose fabric and the quality is beautiful, it's so soft so if you can come up with some ideas for me please guys i need your help because that needs to get made up doesn't it i mean as does every other fabric i buy but you know mm. okay then this is 
embarrassing. This is embarrassing, man. Um, I did have birthday vouchers as well, though, by the way. I didn't buy all of this. Some of this was with my birthday vouchers. I'd just like to say. I'm just putting it out there, you know, as part of justification. Not that we need to justify anything because we can do what we want, can't we? Without fear of judgment here. But I'd seen a fabric a long time ago and I think it was when the I am, is it Irma shirt dress came out? Is it Irma? I can't remember the exact name of it. I think it's that. And they made it in this incredible crepe fabric and I've had my eye on it for quite some time but it's quite expensive and it just ended up going to the bottom of my pile and then I went and had a look at Fabric Godmothers remnants the other day lethal and they had two remnants of it of two different types so I'm going to show you them and I've bought them because I had to have them and they weren't that expensive because they were remnants so the main body piece which is about a meter is this one Oh, I just love it so much. So it's a crepe fabric. See, this is one of the ones I overlocked, just in case. But to be fair, crepe doesn't tend to um, fray that much anyway. So it's a black background with red poppies and then the green and blue leaves. And I love it. So I've got a metre of this one, but then also half a metre of this variant. So it's the same um, kind of design, but it's a different variant of it. So on this one, it's still the black background, but then it's got like a bundle of the flowers. So you've got the red one in there with the blue and green um, leaves, but then you've got the odd blush pink and orange one as well. I've only got half a metre of this one, but my plan with this, and I just need to come up with the right pattern, is to make a blouse that has this as the main body of it, but then this potentially as the sleeves. Now, do we think that's gonna work, guys, is what I wanna know. Um, or am I dreaming and it's just gonna be a disaster when I make it up? <laughs> because they're from the same designer, same fabric, same colorways. What do we think? Mm. I was actually thinking about maybe the Paddington top, the Peppermint Magazine Paddington top, which is a free pattern that I have um, stuck together and cut the actual pattern out. I haven't cut any fabric of it out. I might trial it first for size on something that's not as precious and then potentially make it out of this. Now, is that going to look weird, guys? That's all I need you to tell me. This is the main body and then this is the sleeves. Or am I going to regret it? And oh my God, the selvage on these is massive. Look at this. I mean, that's a good amount of fabric, isn't it? Like, give me my pattern, man. I don't want that amount of white fabric on the selvage, please. I want it all this, if you don't mind. So it's going to take a bit of working out as well. I'm just piling all this down here, and one of my cats is in, is in here, and I didn't realise, and he's just sat there, and I just keep throwing it on top of his head. <laughs> he's not bothered. All right, Tig. Yep. Nappy is Larry. Second to last, honest girl, was an eBay purchase, and this is frayed loads, and this is one where, hands up, I should have um, overlooked this. I mean, stupid, I'm going to just cut some of them off now because it's just shocking. I should have done that before I put it in the wash. So this was off one of the groups, I can't even remember which group it was on Facebook. Um you know, where people sometimes sell things as well. And there was a lady on there and she was selling some Christmas fabric to make cushions. And there was loads of different designs as like the main panel of the cushion. And then she had loads of designs of what you would put maybe on the back of the cushion. Now I've got a thing for gonks. I love them. And if you don't know what a gonk is, where have you been? It is a Christmas gnome, basically. So I bought this panel of three how cool is he <laughs> how cute is that dude there look oh, i just love them don't know what it is can't see their eyes but i just love them so i've bought a panel of three so there's three there which is your main i mean i did iron them and they're all creased up already um your main front panel and i'm thinking about making some christmas cushions and then i've got a half meter of this to go on the back of them that's so cute. Can you see? 
loads of the little conks. So that on the back and then that on the front. I mean, how cute is that? I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? So that, all of that, so for the three panels and the half metre of the bigger repeat print was £10. What? So I've got two sofas. So I'm thinking about um, making two cushions for me for Christmas and then maybe making another one for someone else as a little gift. So <laughs> probably cute, isn't it? Ten pound. And they had loads of different ones as well. They had robins and snowmen and that. But obviously, I had to go for this one. Ten quid, and I can make three cushions out of it. Hopefully, bargain. Just look at this big pile of fabric. I think, isn't it? Oopsie. And then, last but not least, I got a voucher for the amazing Andrea and Keris at Beyond the Pink Door. And I'd had my eye on some fabric for a while. Now, if anybody remembers, I made my mum a dress for her birthday in like a bright pale blue with loads of different flowers all over it. And then Andrea got the dark version in. Oh, and it's just amazing. Now, I've only bought one metre of this, but I mean, look at those colours. That's no filter, no nothing. It is amazing. I just, I'm absolutely in love. There's three colourways, I think. There's one that's got the pale blue background, which is the one I made my mum's dress out of. And then there's one that's like all peaches and blushes and oranges, which is really autumnal, which I love. But, I mean, I could not resist this. It literally looks neon, doesn't it? So, I think what I'm going to do with this one is make the Friday Pattern Company square neck top, because I don't think you need much of this. It's either that or it's just going to be a t-shirt and I can't decide. I'm just about to make the French Navy Stellan T actually, which is a free pattern. Um, so I might try that first in a fabric that, you know, I wouldn't cry over too much. And then if I love it, it might end up being that. I don't know yet because you only need a metre for that as well. So yeah, I'm unsure just yet, but I don't want to mess with that. But I think that's lovely for like winter Christmas time as well because of the black background. I just think it's beautiful. So I've got a metre of that and then I got a metre and a half of this and I watch um, Andrea's live every Sunday over on YouTube. If you don't, go do it. It's brilliant, especially if you're stuck in or you don't have fabric shops near you because Andrea will show you all of the fabrics and it's almost like being in a shop. It's brilliant. And there's a very little community of us over there. But there was this fabric in the background. I've seen it for a couple of weeks and one of the weeks I thought I need to just have a look at that. I need to see that fabric. So... Uh, you can message on the YouTube thing and Andrea will go and pick fabrics out for you to have a look at. So I said to her, can I have a look at that fabric? And this is, <laughs> this is it. I mean, I'm a sucker for anything watercolour as well. So I love any type of watercolour prints, patterns. I mean, I'm just laughing at myself now thinking about this because there's not one plain fabric in any of this, is there? I mean, not one plain fabric. And I keep saying I'm going to get better at it, but you know what? I might just buy plain clothes from shops ready to wear and then make all the patterns myself. But I think this with some blue jeans would be beautiful. And it's organic French terry. It's like a high, a thin French terry though. Um, I'd say it's in between cotton jersey and French terry. I don't think I mentioned what the other one was. The other one was cotton jersey. But it feels beautiful it's just it's gorgeous but look at that so i'm thinking about making the billy jumper by tilly and the buttons so this bit in the jumper version i have made one before with the big balloon sleeves which i liked but i made that in a size six and this i've sized down to a size five and i think it's a better fit on the shoulders and everything so i think what i might do is then make the jumper in a size five and I'm going to make it with this, I think, because I just absolutely love it. And it's got, for a French terry, it's got a lot of stretch, you know, both ways as well. So it's four way stretch. But look at that. So I think, I think that's going to end up being a Billy jumper. I mean, I love blue and white together. I just love that. I know it's absolutely stunning. And I know obviously the pattern will work. So I think I'm going to make it, but just without the bloom sleeves just like this just like that and um just cut it off so that's my plan so i have got plans for both of those i think i'm quite good at it. and that's it 
I think that's it. I mean, I've obviously got my So Holy Jane fabric that I want to make something out of as well. So I'm, I'm kind of like, I need to not buy any more fabric. I do have a Lamarzi Fabrics voucher still left over, which I got for my amazing work colleagues. So that's still to spend, but I'm kind of like, right, don't buy anything with that just yet. Because I do eventually want to venture into making the bottoms, you know, the things that I put off all the time. And I'm thinking maybe use that fabric to get, use that voucher to get some fabric for that. But then I did see that they do Rifle Paper Co rayon fabric, which is just out of this world as well. So who knows what will happen with that voucher. But it's just sat there for if I have an urge to buy anything. Um, so I'm going to try not to. But then my friend Michelle uh, also messaged me this morning saying that um, the Fabric Godmother new collection is out very soon. And of which, I mean, I've seen two sneak peeks. One was this really amazingly brightly coloured fabric, which made my heart sing. And then on the timer that they've got on their stories, there's like a blush pink, quite similar to this, but more pinky leopard print fabric on there. So I'm assuming that's part of the collection as well. That one I might not be able to resist because I think that's one of those fabrics that if I don't get it, I'll think about it forever and regret it. And I don't want to regret it. None of us want to regret stuff like that, do we? We just don't want to. So I'm basically going to have to just sew a lot because I've not really been sewing recently because of all the drama in my household. So I need to get sewing. Um, it's my husband's birthday next week and I want to try and make him some Hudson pants by True Bias um, without him knowing about it. Um, so I'm going to try and do that this weekend. We shall see. Um if I managed to get that done, but I never make him anything ever since he laughed at my um, shirt that I made him, that made him look like Elvis. I've not made him anything since, so he'll be really surprised if I do actually make them. So I'm going to try and cut all those out and get those made up over the weekend, so that's ready and waiting for his birthday next week. So wish me luck. That might get me back into my sojo, mightn't it? And then what I might do is I've got um, a Maya Sotis dress that I've already cut out and started ages ago. It's one of the ones that I just dip back in and out of if I haven't got anything else going on. That I think that only needs like gathering, attaching to the bodice and hemming, to be honest. So I should really try and do that as well. And then I've got a Stellan T cut out. So I might just have a bish bash bosh at them and see how it goes. But I think out of everything, the thing I want to do the most with all of this fabric is the Billy sweatshirt um, for definite and also the floaty long sleeve Lyra dress. Um, that's my plans I think next. Oh, um, do you like my earrings? These are outrageous, I know they are. There's a company that I follow on Instagram called, wait a minute, the little leaflets here. Fern, Fern Jewelry something. Funnily enough, it doesn't actually say the name. Oh, it just says Fern Loyalty Card on here. If you get 10 pairs, you get a free Fern surprise worth over £25. Um, Fern Jewelry something. Can't remember, but absolutely love it. So, I bought these because they were just so bright. And I don't even know if they really go with this, but I didn't care. It was because I was feeling miserable with COVID and I just decided to treat myself. And also some black polka dot earrings that I did not realise the size of. When they turned up, I was like, wow, they are massive. <laughs> They're huge. I mean, these are quite big for me, but the other ones are like, <clears throat> but you know what? I'm all for colour and I'm all for anything like that. Good splash of colour. So I will get my wear out of them. But yeah, I'll try and link them below as well downstairs if anybody's interested in having a look. Right, I'm rabbiting on. I've done nearly 30 minutes and I was hoping to get it done in 20, but you know me. I haven't been on here for a while, so I need to speak to, I need to, speak to somebody. I've been on my own for so long. But that's me done. Um, hopefully I'll be back at some point. I have no idea with what video. I think I've got um, the third part of my q and I need to film just to finish off all the questions that people very kindly sent in. Um... And then, yeah, I'm not really doing much of the whole plans thing. So I might do like a Friday sales chit chat, get together type of thing at some point, hopefully next week. We will see. Um, but I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's had time for sewing. Um, keep safe, everybody. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.